Do you hate country music? All right, here's five classy, classic country records guaranteed to melt your cold Yankee heart. And hey, if you love country music and there's another record we need to be listening to, put it in the comments. Dolly Parton, Jolene. Dolly's classic album, Jolene, is based around the legendary song of the same name, which has been covered by dozens of artists. According to Dolly, it's an innocent song she wrote about a beautiful bank teller in town who had a crush on her husband and flirted with him. It's often taken to be a little more sinister due to her powerful delivery and the universality of the feelings of inadequacy behind it. Flip the record and some might be surprised to hear a song made famous by Whitney Houston. The classic, I Will Always Love You, Dolly Parton wrote in 1973 for her one-time partner and mentor, Porter Wagoner, from whom she was separating professionally after a seven-year partnership. The rest of their album is so, so good, of course, as well. It's peak Dolly. And can I just say I enjoy this back color with the Dolly catalog and the clearly stated credits for the recording team? Doc Watson, the essential Doc Watson. This 25-song, 2LP collection by the blind, guitar, flat-picking genius and singer Doc Watson. Doc's putting down bluegrass, folk, country, blues, and gospel. A cascade of genius little short songs in a voice as plain as true as Johnny Cash. Shady Grove, Blue Railroad Train, Down in the Valley to Pray, those are three of my favorites. It, this was originally released as a double LP. The first LP of the of the original release contains studio recordings from Watson's early Vanguard releases, and the second LP tracks were recorded live at Newport Folk Festival in 1965 and 1964. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison. In 1968, Johnny Cash had recently gotten control of his drug habit, and he was ready to take his career to the next level. Since his 1965 song, Folsom Prison Blues, Cash had wanted to do a live show at a prison. Backed by June Carter, Carl Perkins, and the Tennessee Three, Cash performed two shows at Folsom State Prison on the same day, January 13, 1968. Fifteen songs from the first show and two songs from the second show were compiled to create Johnny Cash's first live album. Johnny Cash at Folsom Prison blew up reaching number one on the U.S. country charts and the top 15 in the national album chart. The lead single, Folsom Prison Blues, was a top 40 hit. At Folsom Prison was so successful that it spurred a series of live albums recorded at prisons. It's gotten a few reissues, including a 5LP box set with both shows and a bonus disc of rehearsals, which came out in 2018 for Record Store Day. If you have that set, please comment below and tell us how it is. Is it worth the $250 price tag? Willie Nelson Stardust. This stark, simple purity of this record kills me. Released in 1978, it's unpretentious covers of 10 classic pop standards. Booker T. Jones from Booker T. and the MGs was Willie Nelson's neighbor, and he ended up producing the record. In 1979, Nelson won a Country Grammy Award for Best Male Country Vocal Performance for the song Georgia On My Mind. This record was on the Billboard Country Chart for 10 years until 1988. In short, this is a triumph of Willie Nelson's career. June Carter Cash, Press On. June Carter Cash's Grammy-winning Press On was produced by her son, John Carter Cash. We get Carter family tracks from the 20s and 30s, folk songs she performed with her mom and sisters in the 40s and 50s, but the best songs on this record were written by June Carter Cash herself. She wrote her husband's hit song, Ring of Fire, and she does a great version on this album. Losing You is a great upbeat, but also heartbreaking song. But my favorite on this album is the hilarious Gatsby's Restaurant. It's such a cool song. I play it for my friends. It's that kind of song. So please go give it a listen right now. If you dug that video, check out this interview with John McEwen about recording Will the Circle Be Unbroken with Nitty Gritty Dirt Band.